Hi, welcome back to Environmental Performance Evaluation EPE ISO 14031 Part 2. Before we start, let's do a little recap on previous video. What is Environmental Performance Evaluation? EPE is an internal management tool that provides managers with information about how well an organization's environmental system is performing and whether the aim of its environmental policy are being achieved. EPE follows a plan to check act PDCA management model. Do you know under ISO 14031 there are four clauses which are general overview, planning EPE, using data and information, reviewing and improving EPE. In this video, we will be discovering the first clause. The first clause, general overview, includes the scope, function, benefit, and indicator of ISO 14031. Scope of Environmental Performance Evaluation ISO 14031 ISO 14031 2013 is the guideline for environmental performance evaluation that give guidance on the design and use of EPE within an organization. It does not establish environmental performance level and can be used to support organization's own approach to EPE commitments to compliance with legal and other requirements, and etc. Function of EPE ISO 14031 It is to assess environmental performance and keep track on how well EMS is functioning, including whether agreed aims and objectives are being met. EPE is essentially a monitoring tool helping an organization to identify environmental aspects and related impacts and later determine which are significant, set criteria for its environmental performance and track progress toward objectives and targets, assess the effectiveness and potential of environmental management initiatives and projects, Focus on root causes and risk analysis then identifying areas for action. Identify interrelationship of different management functions and environmental performance. And lastly, produce information for stakeholders that relates directly to their concerns and requirements. Benefit of Environmental Performance Evaluation ISO 14031 Improve identification and understanding of environmental aspects and impacts. The use of indicators can help identify areas that have the potential to become more secular and sustainable. For example, the proportion of recycled and renewable materials in a product or process. The use of indicators can help identify processes to support the more efficient use of resources. Recognition of good performance management can help an organization with compliance with legislation, potentially reducing annual charges for permits and consents. Supports implementation of an environmental management system because environmental performance evaluation can help identify significant risks, set objectives and targets, and track performance. And lastly, stronger environmental performance give greater assurance to stakeholders which can increase both credibility and reputations. Indicators of Environmental Performance Evaluation ISO 14031 Now, let's do a mini recap. We learned that EPE used 11 key performance indicators to help organization determine trends, evaluate risks, and identify its strategic objective and targets. So, what are the indicators being said? Well, as described in ISO 14031, EPE indicators are divided into two categories which are 
Environmental Performance Indicator and Environmental Condition Indicator Environmental Performance Indicator consists of Management Performance Indicator and Operational Performance Indicator. Now, let's check out the type of indicators one by one. Management Performance Indicators MPI. It describes the measures undertaken by the management at all levels of organization to affect the firm's environmental impacts. MPI should provide information on the organization's capability and efforts in managing environmentally matters such as policy issues and development, resource allocation and purchasing, human resource issues, planning and practices, and conformance with regulations and audit programs. Operational Performance Indicator OPI It is to evaluate the actual environmental aspects of firms. They are subdivided into mass and energy indicators as taken from the input-output analysis, infrastructure, and traffic indicators. OPI relate to performance of operations including inputs, energy, materials, utilities, and contractor services, throughputs, design, installation, operation and maintenance of buildings, materials use, process equipment and other facilities, outputs, process emission, trade effluent, emission to air, solid and liquid waste, noise, vibration, light, dust, litter, odor, and radiation. Next, Environmental Condition Indicator ECI. It refers to those activities, operation, product, and services that might interact or have an impact on the quality of the natural environment, such as air emission on the regional air quality, Others that can cause nuisance to local residential areas, water emission on the waterways in the vicinity of a production site, and activities that likely to degrade land and soil condition. That's all for now, as we have already discussed the first clause or the four clauses in ISO 14031. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos for the other three clauses. Thank you!